turn and it's the long odds on favourite Annie Powers so unlucky at Cheltenham out two and a half in front of Katie T Anna Liffey staying on the outside in third they've got on from Killian and Jenny's Jewel on the run to the final flight Annie Power now chased by stable companion Anna Liffey in second Katie T is third as they come down towards the final flight it's Annie Power and Ruby Walsh out in front Anna Liffey second and Katie T and over the last it's Annie Power the leader and clear uh, chased home by Anna Liffey Katie T and Kalan battling for third and fourth up towards the finish Annie Power back to winning ways another one for Willie Mullins will be another one for on the outside the Paul Townend the two market principals race now towards the second last flight with Apples Jade last year's winner and Jack Kennedy in front Nichols Canyon towards the near side for Paul Townend on the run down now towards the final flight and Apples Jade is the leader from Nichols Canyon a break then to Mick Jazz and Silas Emery but it's Apples Jade now who's out in front coming down to the final flight last year's winner Apples Jade over the last and cleared of Nichols Canyon Silas Emery is staying on on the inside but up towards the finish Apples Jade for Jiggenstown, Gordon Elliott and Jack Kennedy win back to back. Bar one racing Hatton's Grace Hurdles in good start oh, from Bucks Nichols Canyon. Moves through to the front, a good leap from Dynast in second, then Restless Harry and Five Dream heading down towards the last, and Big Bucks is now in complete command from Dynast, then Restless Harry behind these in Five Dream. It's never over until the final flight, and Big Bucks sails over it. Five Dream in second with Restless Harry, and back in fourth place was Dynast. Briefly on the home turn, it looked maybe as if there was a pretender to Staying Bucks crown, but Staying uh, staying is the name of the game for Big Bucks. 14 consecutive successes over hurdles. The highest rated jumping horse in training lands the Lock Derg long walk hurdle. Big Bucks. Is the reigning champion hurdler Bouvardere, and Bouvardere has now effortlessly moved into second place. On the inside, Flying Tiger, and with the nose band Irving, as they turn now into the home straight, they face up towards the third last. And Cat Gary still just has the lead, but is he there on sufferance? But here now is the looming presence of Bouvardere, and Bouvardere has cruised into the lead. Flying Tiger, though, will try and go with him towards the inside, to the outside is Irving. This is the second last and Bouvardere got in just a little tight but he gets half an inch of rain and he simply breezes away from Flying Tiger in second, Irving in third, the final flight of the fighting fifth and it was Bouvardere and Bouvardere has readily gone clear by eight widening lengths. A statuesque Barry Geraghty has not moved a muscle. The champion is back. The champion Boover there! Boover there Arctic wins over. Who once second. again closes between flights, a length and a half between them over the second last and beginning the run round the home turn. And Fahin is starting to apply the pressure now, beginning to make the entrance to the straight. A good long run to the final flight. Fahin Arctic Fire clear of Delarca, way back to Tiger Roll, straightening up for the final flight. And it's Fahin and Ruby Walsh now, three, four clear of Arctic Fire second, back and third is Delarca. And on the run down towards the final flight. It's Faheen going away now from Arctic Fire, coming to the ninth and final flight. It's Faheen and Ruby Ward safely over and running up towards the finish. It's Faheen and his three rivals nowhere. He signs off with a perfect 10 out of 10 and completes the champion hurdle double. Again, the same second spot for Arctic Fire. Delarca third and Tiger Roll fourth and Fly our corner and Jeski as they race now for the home turn and Captain CB will lead the main three o in, being followed by Hurricane Fly. Our corner and Jeski both making their moves now up on the outside and there's four in a line as they race for the final flight in the BHB Insurance Irish Champion Hurdle in the centre. Hurricane Fly, our corner is coming there in the centre. Jeski is ridden on the outside, coming down to the final flight. Hurricane Fly, our corner put in a tremendous jump on the near side. They're racing inside the last. 
250 yards. Oh, Connor, Hurricane Fly is hard written on the inside. He's coming back. He's battled like a demon to win it for the fourth time. And Hurricane Fly wins grade number one, 19. What a horse. Beats off our Connor who ran a McCoy Being stalked by Hurricane Fly and Ruby Walsh. A couple of lengths to steps to freedom. Rounding the home turn. And Jeske leads Hurricane Fly off the bend. Beginning the run now towards the final flight. Jeske on the rails, Tony McCoy. Hurricane Fly towards the near side. Being wound up by Ruby Walsh to go on terms. Tony McCoy has gone for a whip, but still leads at the final flight. They're coming down to the last. It's a battle of the champions. Jeske from Hurricane Fly. They're on the run up towards the finish. It's the young pretender. It's going to take away the crown again from Hurricane Fly. The champion hurdler is the champion at Punchestown. As Tony McCoy pats Jeske, he's made all to win. Just and about Jessica joined Harrington now by Cockney Sparrow and Grametti. Might enter yours on the inside, trying to make ground. Melodic Rendezvous at this stage is just shaken along and tapped slightly for foot. They race down towards the second last. Grametti might enter yours on the right. Then Cockney Sparrow between horses. Cotton Mill comes next. Melodic Rendezvous two from home. My Tento yours over on the far side. Moves through to join Grimetti. My Tento yours leading by over a length. Grimetti in second place. In third is Cockney Sparrow. My Tento yours is over the last. Hangs slightly to the left. Cockney Sparrow rallies into second. Grimetti is third. My Tento yours shaken up. Leads by three lengths. And he's going to make a thoroughly commendable comeback here in the StanJames.com fighting fifth. My Tento yours is a comfortable win. Winner. Cockney Sparrow was second, Grimetti third, Cotton Mill Melodic yeah, Rendezvous only they come fifth. Towards they the were... second last. Nichols Canyon and Identity Thief on the outside is coming there now to join them. They're cleared of Windsor Park and Identity Thief on the outside appears to be travelling the better now as they come off the bend. And Identity Thief and Brian Cooper from Nichols Canyon, Ruby Walsh on the inside. Now they race to the final flight in the Ryanair hurdle and it's Identity Thief who's now come under pressure. Nichols Canyon ranging up again on the inside. Nothing between them now. Coming down to the final flight. Identity Thief on the near side. On the inside, Nichols Canyon. Over the last. Identity Thief and on the inside, Nichols Canyon. It's nip and tuck inside the last 100 yards now. Identity Thief with Nichols Canyon trying to rally back on the inside. And Nichols Canyon has come back. And as they race up towards the finish, Nichols Canyon had a real battle on his hand, but he's won the battle for Willie Mullins and Ruby Walsh. And Back the in colours. third is one in the dark, and then comes Kakari, and they're clear from Barizam. As they race towards the second last, Oscar Whiskey, barb out a neck to Blackjack Blues, who's fighting on in second. Two out, Oscar Whiskey, a bit untidy, but he's over in front. He leads by a length and a half. Garrity has a long, leisurely look over his shoulder. He's oozing confidence here as they race towards the last. Oscar Whiskey by about three or four legs now to Tarkari. Over the last, he flicks over it. Tarkari blunders, and Oscar Whiskey is clear. On the run for home, Oscar Whiskey is well clear. He'll win the William Hill Welsh Champion Hurdle in the colours of Guy Walters. For Nicky Henderson and Barry Garrity, he looks a top-class performer. Oscar Whiskey from Blackjack Blues to Kari. And, and Dia Kali pressed now by our Connor coming there on the outside as they round the home turn. Dia Kali and our Connor on the near side. These two go on from Blood Cotteel on the run down to the final flight. And it's our Connor now and Brian Cooper who hit the front. Dia Kali second clear of Blood Cotteel as they come down now towards the final flight. And our Connor is the leader at the last. The final flight and our corner over from Diakali. They're clear of Ruakana and Blood Cotteel and on the run up towards the finish. It's our corner who's going to extend his winning run over hurdles and wins in great style for Brian Cooper and Desi Hughes. Our corner beats Diakali. Ruakana's third Blood Cotteel. and Quivega and then Mikhail Dagenet as they come round the home turn and Murad and Kenny Walsh have taken up the lead followed through now by Vole Lavadet and Andrew Lynch Quivega, Ruby Walsh in third what you think is fourth and then comes Mikhail Dagenet as they straighten up they've one left to jump Murad being pressed now by the two Quivega and in the centre is Vole Lavadet as they race down towards the final flight and it's Quivega and Ruby Walsh with nine 
now driven along Volley Lavade and Andrew Lynch on the near side as they jump the final flight it's Quebec and Ruby Walsh now pouring on from Volley Lavade they've got a hundred yards to go and it's Quebec and Ruby Walsh out in front it's three punches to Nadbrooks for the extraordinary Quebec has beaten Volley Lavade and then Morad what do you think in the Mick fourth Rev de Severa at the second last not a great leap Salubrious was challenging there but he stumbled on landing at Fisher's Cross he's in second but Rev de Severa then bidding to win his second long walk hurdle is heading down towards the final flight with a three or four length lead at Fisher's Cross in second he's hard ridden and he's not closing the gap Rev de Sivola comes towards the last then at it now big leap safely over it uh, at Fisher's Cross is unseated AP at the last and so it's Rev de Sivola a second win in the race for this horse and a fourth long walk victory for jockey Richard Johnson. Salubrious is home in, in front, second Going over place. three out. Rock on Ruby came through to lead from Countrywide Flame. AP McCoy still sat motionless on Darlan and Clark's choice away to the inside is a dozen lengths behind. Coming down towards two from home. Still a quarter of a mile to gallop. Rock on Ruby with the advantage. Darlan now moving through to challenge Countrywide Flame for second and moves to within a length of Rock on Ruby that's just over Rock a further Ruby, and a half four lengths together. clear from Countrywide Flame. Clark's Choice has inherited further inside the last 150 yards and Rock on Ruby with a three length lead. Countrywide Flame trying to close but Rock on Ruby left clear by Darlin's fall at the last has won the 32 red hurdle under Noel Feely for Harry Fry. Second place. Reduced advantage now as Solwood closes to within a couple of lengths. So Young has been ridden to try and close. Eyes on the prize is closing on the inside. Solwood is coming there now strongly on a hard ridden what you think. Eyes on the prize and so young, making ground on the outside, so young, but Solwood travelling well now to the final flight comes to the last, Solwood over in front, so young on the outside trying to raise an effort, but it's Solwood the leader, as they climb uphill towards the finish, and Solwood and ridden out by Davy Russell, it'll be an opening double for Davy as Solwood gets back to winning ways, wins by five to six from so young, what you think, eyes on the prize. In second now, so Mark. two side of Gruji, back in third, Aussie the Oscar hasn't picked up in four and then Ron's dream it's still the new one that leads Klein they meet again on the run towards the second last the new one still held together with the lead under Zach Baker he dives out to the right over it and hit the flight hard Klein to the inside it's still the new one in front though two lengths clear on the run towards the last the new one has the lead Klein in second they're well clear of Sider Gruji here's the final flight then the new one comes into it he's over it safe just over a length clear of Klein, who's fighting on hard on the inside. The new one in front never lacked courage. He leads the way to Klein in second place. And the new one, it's the same old new one. He's won again first time up and he lifts the Welsh champion hurdle. The new one beats Klein. They're clear of Sider Grugia.